viewer, thanks for joining me. I'm Terry Edmonds, and I think you're watching this video to see how I do this amazing project. <laughs> if you have landed on this page, it means you're watching the replay of my Amazon Live show that I do every Friday from 9 to 9.45, where I demonstrate how I use all of my supplies that are offered on my Amazon shopping cart. You can see all of these Amazon Live videos on my Amazon Live playlist on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe. Aloha, Amazon Live. Thank you viewers for joining me. If you are watching this on the YouTube replay, thank you for being here for this show about stretching your shoes and adding width. In this video, we're going to be talking about the different tools that I use in my professional business as a shoe cobbler. And um, they're great tools. I use them all the time. I've had them for years and I get so many questions about uh, shoe stretching and I just, this shoe, this show never gets old. <laughs> So uh, if you, uh, best way to find me, Terry Edmonds in Maui, Hawaii, is to go to terryedmonds.com and you just click the Amazon button if you're looking for supplies to my videos. And here we are at our Amazon Live, we're together and we are going to have chat on in case you guys would like to chat with me. Uh, I love it when you send me stars. Thank you. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. I'm in Maui, Hawaii, and I'm even indulging a little bit of coffee time with you. Mm. Yum. Okay, so I do want to touch on a couple of things. I had an email come in from a viewer who watched my Doc Martin video, and I took a black boot, and I told her how I'd tell her about how to do it. I took a black boot, it was a Doc Martin, but this serves as a great example. And um, that boot was new, the one that I was making look distressed. It had like a turquoise distressed look to it. And so I took the new boot and I did a um, spray treatment. This is a color spray for leather. And um, I always use a respirator, which is also listed in my supplies on my Amazon shopping cart. Definitely, I always use a respirator whenever I'm using my sprays, my aerosols. So um, I do take the spray and I hold it about 12 inches away. And it was a distressed look. So I had to uh, just you know, I lightly did some crosses. You couldn't see it on the boot because I started outside of the, so I go this way, spray it, maybe come through and spray another way. And um, I'd even hold it, I usually say hold it 12 inches away, but on this demonstration I did it for, um, I did it a little closer. And what that did is it allowed some of the um, aerosols to kind of drop. And that made a really cool effect. I totally loved it. Uh, let's see how our connection's going here. Connection. All right, guys, I think we're all still here together. There we are. Yeah, if we are having technical difficulties, just hang in there with me today. All right, so anyway, um, I did not put any conditioner on the boot before I uh, did it. Uh, she wanted to put a conditioner on it and do some treatments to it, but really I just used the straight Doc Martin, some paint, and uh, just did this really kind of a cool paint effect, and it just turned out great. And so that is the treatment for how to do the Doc Martin in the video. <clears throat> this one here, we actually did this in last week's video and it was a really old looking shoe. We dyed it together, we conditioned it a couple of times and polished it, and this is the effect. It's really gorgeous. But today we're gonna stretch it because the client needs to have it stretched a little bit, even though it's pretty darn stretched, if you notice. It's got a lot of wear patterns here. I mean, I don't know how much more it's gonna go, but we can do it, and I thought we'd do it together, so. 
On this one, I am going to use a boot stretcher. I'm gonna show you the difference between the boot stretchers. If she wanted it stretched right here, I would use this one. See that? And as I turn it, it opens. So that's called the instep stretcher. That's a really good one. I have a lot of people, clients that come into my shoe repair shop on Maui and maybe their instep is too high for a boot. Let's say I tried to stretch this boot with it and it just didn't move enough. Then what I suggest is adding in a zipper. Just it, You just cut an inch out of here all the way down to this part right here. You add your zipper, stitch it back in, and then the client can just zip in and out of the boot. So that's always an alternative. Any cobbler can do it for you. It's very easy. So she actually wants the width. So one of the differences, this one has the straight arm, okay? That is not a good uh, stretcher for a boot, because look, right? So they make another set of stretchers, which I have in the shopping carousel there. You'll see my favorite in the pink, and it's gonna be delivered soon. So as soon as it is, we are all, all gonna do shoe stretching together. So we want this, where it's got the elbow, but I want it to open this way here versus this way here. So let's find that one. I'm actually gonna leave this out for us so we can look at it. So let's see, I am going to choose, I think we'll do a little bit bigger, maybe this one. Okay, now this is interesting. I can tell by looking what size I need. I've been doing this for so long. I'm about to come up on my 20 year anniversary for my business, so um, anyway. This, I think this will do just about right. It'll open up enough. I'll be able to get it in there. I'm pretty sure we're gonna try it. But if you're not good at eyeballing it because you've not experienced with the stretchers, I wasn't until I bought the business, then I'm gonna show you how to buy them um, on Amazon. So let's say I'm gonna click on the uh, pink shoe stretchers. I can't wait to get mine. Oh my God, they're gonna be so cute. Okay, so for instance, here it says, the pink boot stretcher that I'm getting is uh, fits a woman's size four and a half to nine and a half. Okay, that's great, that's really easy. But most shoe stretchers will say, and I think the other one on the uh, Amazon shopping cart does this, but they're measured in zeros. So a size eight and a half to a 10, well, let's do the women's because I'm working on a woman's boot. I think this boot is probably an eight half or a nine. So I would go to the women's shoe size and it says either four half to six would be a number three, a six and a half to an eight would be a two, eight and a half and up would be a one. So I would select a size one. On Amazon, it'll say what that size you're selecting. You'll have to select it. But if you're in a shoe store and looking, you would find your size and then you'd find out what size this one was. This one's a woman's two, which is a six and a half to an eight. And um, this one is just for a flat shoe, but check this out. This is, this is what they look like when they're new. <laughs> uh, this is a really great one. I always tell you that I really like the metal uh, rods. I like that it's got a couple of these little bunion stretchers. So I have a whole collection. I'm not gonna break this one apart. I'm selling this in my store and it's on my Amazon shopping cart. Um, but it's really great. These little things can be moved into all of these little sections here. If you've got hammer toes, um, all kinds of things. So it's nice. You can make room in different parts of the shoe. I'll put this back like this. Okay. So I am going to use some that I already have and I'm thinking about this shoe that it's it's stretched already, right? So I don't know how much more it's going to stretch. I think this is about a, a really, I think this is a good size for her. Let's put it in and try. Okay. You have to use your muscles sometimes and really get in there. All right, 
So, see, it's all the way down here. That's really great. That's what we want because I'm sure that's where it's, the pain is coming in. I mean, if you think about it, our feet are shaped like a duck. And so we're squeezing them into these shoes that are like this. So generally people get their bunions, they get their, you know, corns on the sides. Anyway, uh, it's fashion for you. All right, so now I'm turning it and it's going to open this up, which is really great. And as I was always taught, you want to feel, you can feel how taut this is. Like, see it's stretching out, I'm coming closer, stretching out those wrinkles on the top. And basically, it's because I've already uh, refurbished the shoe, I'm not going to treat it with water or with a shoe stretch. It's, it's as, it'll do as much as it will as it is, okay? So I don't want to uh, treat the, you know, the nice finish, which is kind of coming off on my hands right now. So that's one of the issues. That's why I say don't dye your, uh, polish your handbags. <laughs> this is really hard to get this off. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna let that set overnight probably, and if I wanted to, I could come back again and give it another tweak tomorrow. You know, let it sit overnight, give it some time. So we'll just set those there. Okay. And let's go ahead. Oh, I wanted to also touch base. So this is a shoe stretcher, okay? Kids shoe stretcher. This is a number two. And I think they said the number two is the size six and a half to eight. So that would be that. I think this is actually a kid's shoe though. It must be a two for children. I don't see it on here, but anyway, I can tell. I brought this as a demonstration because sometimes if I have a shoe, let's see if it's a good example here. Okay, I have one. I'm working on this guy's Gucci shoe, okay? <laughs> If this were another shoe, but it had this kind of an opening here where it's an open toe and it's a lady's shoe, let's say, that's kind of small, but that's where it's pinching on the client's foot, right? Then I would take a small one like this and come in from the front and then open it up, okay? And that opens up this area and I do it very carefully. I don't do it all at once. I do it just a little bit maybe have the client come back in and try it, or if you're doing it yourself, then, um, you know, testing it out first, because you can never shrink it back, okay? That's one thing about stretching. But, uh, okay, so moving on, that's what I use these for, which is kind of fun. If you have that problem where your toes give you an issue, maybe buy an extra one that's smaller that you can manipulate. But I thought I'd show you a demonstration because this, some people think this is a shoe stretcher, okay? And um, there's a difference. This is not a shoe stretcher. This actually goes inside the shoe. It's, it goes like this, you squeeze it together, it goes inside, usually a man's shoe. This is probably a woman's flat. And then it stretches out and it holds this pressure so that it holds the shape of the shoe. And that's a nice thing to have. Some, they, they make most of these in cedar so that it helps with mold. Um, but that's not a shoe stretcher, so I thought I'd show you guys that today. And let's go back. I'm going to uh, catch up with you guys here. So, um, all right. Hey, hi. Thanks, bro. Nice to, uh, nice to hear from you. Thank you for chatting. I love it. I love it. I know that I'm just uh, have company. All right. So some of the other tools that you are seeing in this shopping cart, this little doodad here is called the foot fitter toe box lifter and that is exactly what it does <laughs> so let's um i want to get a closed shoe here as a good example hold on so here we have um i'm making a new sole for this client this is stage one it's got the midsole um, but let's say she had a hammer toe right here okay and her toes are crossing um this is what this is great for. This is so great. Uh, they're, they're asking $46.95, prices change. I, I show that it's got a three star rating, but honestly, I'd rate it five stars. It does the trick, it doesn't break. You know, it's, it, they're great devices. Um, so anyway, it goes inside the shoe, like this, you put it flat. You come inside the shoe and as you squeeze it, 
and let's go up a little further. I'll let it out. I'm gonna come up just a bit more because usually it's right down around here. Oh, there we go, like that. Pull this back up, it holds it in place based on how much you want it. I, if I squeezed it more, it would do more, um, but I don't wanna ruin her shoe. But that is how you get a hammer toe stretch. This is the best way to do it. I love this device. If you have hammer toes, get yourself one of these. One of the other things is that if you are having trouble, um, you know, stretching out your shoe, like you have really bad hammer toes or any of the stretching issues that you're having, most items, if they are made of a leather, um, you can wet the top of the shoe. And so I've shown you guys that before, and I would actually, well, let's go to the shoe stretching. That's what they make shoe stretch for. And I put another version of it on it just because of time constraints. I didn't have time to find this this morning, but this is the money's worth best. They're all great. Um, I don't use it 100%. You actually mix it with water, put it in a spray bottle, and you would, you know, spray the shoe. I'm not going to on her because she doesn't have this problem. This is just for a demonstration. So if it were really bad and that wasn't enough, then I would go ahead and just take some old rags. This has been used for this for so many times. And I would totally soak it. I, and I would get it saturated, okay? I usually do it in the sink. And then you come in and you put it on top of the shoe and let the shoe dry like that. Um, you really need to get it wet though. And you kind of want to consider that if you get the shoe wet, you don't want to leave a watermark. So if you're going to really do this wet treatment, you're going to do it from the outside, not the inside. Okay, some shoes are waterproof. So you can do the outside and it won't damage the inside. Let's take this out. Okay, so we'll let her um, set. Anyway, but I do this a lot, especially for instance, we're going to do it on this boot. So let's work on this one. This is another one. She's had it for a really long time. Uh, let's go back to our products here. Okay. Um, so let me close this. So she's had this for a really long time, but as we age, you know, our feet spread and stuff like that. So it doesn't fit as comfortable as it used to. So I'm going to really soak it. I'm gonna get my boot stretcher that goes in there for the width. Let's see, just looking at it, she is probably, that looks like a nine. Let's see if it tells us. I don't see a size in there, but it looks like a nine. And we wanna make sure we can get it down here. So I am going to select a boot stretcher like this. There we go. This should be pretty good. This is, um, you know, kind of has the same shape. It's not as flat, but I think we'll be okay. So let's go ahead and I'll take it off of the table so I can really get it. Yeah, hey, if you guys are watching, tell me from where you're watching, okay? I know some people are tucked away with these storms right now um, on the mainland. And so we're to I'm totally sending you some Aloha vibes, okay? Um, I'm excited. We're going to be upgrading our uh, services, and I'm going to be able to show you pictures of the ocean and all kinds of fun stuff, just so that you guys feel the vibe of Maui. All right, so here we are. I can feel it's already starting to get tight. So, you know, one of the other things you want to take into consideration is you don't want to pull the shoe from the sole, okay? So do it a little bit at a time. I can tell she already needs gluing. You know, these are older, um, so, but I can see a nice good stretch. So here we go. This is what we're looking at right now. And it's a little bit high back here versus up here, but I'm gonna soak this and I'm gonna let it set and really stretch for me. And then I'll come back tomorrow and I'm gonna take this stretch, I'm gonna push it in farther and then stretch it more, okay? And she, I already talked with her about being able to soak this shoe. So that is what we are going to do. The water really helps. 
Uh, it will leave a watermark if we don't do the whole thing, so we'll just... Uh... Actually, you know what? Let's use the shoe stretch today for this. I think that would be a great example. See? Gets it all. Get the whole thing so it doesn't leave a watermark. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> Bravo. I love it. Uh, a home recipe would be one part rubbing alcohol and nine parts water. But they make shoe stretch for a reason, so that's really great. So there we go. And let's go ahead and try out. Oh, yeah. So here we've got. Oh, I wanted to let's take a little detour for one second. I am known for helping people with hard to fit feet. That's that's how I became known as the shoe lady. <laughs> And this is, I designed my own shoes called Hot Biscuit and I've been making shoes for a very long time. Cute little sandals, look at those, aren't those fun? We're gonna do a class on the supplies, how to make these yourself. I have them on my Amazon shopping cart, including how to paint sandals, you know, how to do some really fun stuff. We're gonna use, um, this is what I'm most known for, it's called the Hot Biscuit. And my shoes went all the way up to size 16 that were uh, mass produced, but my handmade ones go to any size, of course, they're custom. But it was all inspired from all of these women that I was meeting that had really big feet and they were coming in for prom shoes or wedding shoes primarily and said that they've never owned anything pretty before. And I get chicken skin just thinking about it because I've heard the story so many times. So one of the gals, uh, it kind of makes me the clamped just thinking of it. Um, I mean, they were in tears. They'd sit down on the, my couch in the store and just cry and say, please help my daughter, help her. She's never owned anything but a men's, like a shower slipper. So um, anyway, this is one of my clients. This is so old, I've saved the original, so, so it's kind of beat up. But this is really her feet. Her, and she's a wonderful gal, I really love her. and. Um, Anyway, you can see her feet are shaped differently, right? And you know, you're trying to find something pretty that fits both of those feet. I mean, I see a problem already trying to make a style of shoe match, right? So definitely this would be a custom sandal. You kind of try to shape it anyway, and you can do that at home. The supplies are on Amazon. If you're good with the razor knife, uh, follow some of my classes on YouTube and you could actually make your own sandal. So. You know, don't feel lost. Okay, so that's my inspiration client. I love her so much. And we're gonna do some more stretching. So let's do this shoe. All right, so we've got this Cole Haan. This is pretty thick strapping. Look at that. Um, it doesn't feel like real leather. I, I, not, I, Maybe a piece of it's real, maybe the top layer, but it feels like a synthetic and it's really thick. So I can tell from the age of the shoe, I hope it doesn't pull from this base, um, but let's give it a try. And I did forewarn the client that I'm not quite sure. Yeah, we're not gonna do that one. Let's do, um, let's try this one. Oh no, let's do this one. Looks kind of big, but let's see. It's a 12, I don't know. Mine are really old. Uh, uh, these shoe stretchers I've had since I bought the business and they were 30 years old before I got, the, got them. So, oh yeah, look at that perfect fit. Hello, I've been doing this forever. <laughs> All right, so that's a great fit. That's what we want it to look like. And now I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a twist. All right, now I can feel it getting tight and it's the, it's tighter for her around here. It's not, you know, because it's not giving her feet room to spread. So you can kind of hear it crack, you know, it's like it's, it's stressing it. So what I could do with this is this is one of those instances where I could probably apply a little bit of heat, you know, like a blow dryer if you're at home. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, let's try it just as it is. I think we're okay. I think we'll just leave it. All right, so let that stay. 
And now we're going to do this other one. So I have uh, some, of, I, I sell shoes too. And this is a lacrosse, it's part of the Danner family. It's under their umbrella. And wow, this is a woman's hunting boot. It's really new for them. And I do have Danners on my Amazon shopping cart uh, categorize my hunting boots, work boots. I haven't added this one yet, but I will. Um, it's a super great boot. Danner doesn't make a lot of wide sizes for women yet. I'm sure they will get with it because they are so awesome. So I'm gonna go in here, um, my client, uh, works for one of the uh, forestry services and so uh, she we're gonna stretch this just a little bit for her I do that every time she buys a new boot so um, this is a waterproof boot um, it's got multiple layers of smooth grain leather plus it's got nylon webbing in there um, it's it's got support uh, but it's still a little soft so I know I can get some some movement out of that so let's go back to the boot stretchers and let's see. Hmm, this might work. See that? We'll give it a shot. Hey bro, thanks for following. Thanks for joining me. I'm here every Friday. So, all right, here we go. Setting it inside. Remember it's gotta have the elbow so that it can go all the way down and just squeeze that in there. Okay. And I put one of these, I also put one of these on the shopping cart. Let me get to it. Yeah, okay, so um, if you're not gonna go for the pink kind of universal one, uh, you can see like, they're not all universal. I want the pink one because I like pink, okay? Can we all just admit that? <laughs> so I'm getting it. But the other one is um, this, I have this Esky Shop one-way unisex professional wooden shoe stretcher for boots. And um, it comes with all the parts. I think that would be a really nice one. So she's in there. I feel like it needs to go in further. Hold on. Let's see, let's see what happens when I open it up, where it hits. I, I really recommend if you are trying to build up your, uh, your wardrobe in the sense of, you know, you want a good shoe stretcher under the cap. This is too big, hold on. Um, I'd say really find one for your size and your issue, okay? We're gonna go just a little bit uh, smaller and it might be because it's got too much of this to it. It's not letting it come down here through the instep. So we'll move on. <clears throat> Let's try. Let's try this one. It's a little smaller, but it's going to allow me to get into the front there. So let's give this a try. This says it's a woman's large. Now, what I would say is, I don't think you have to have a left and a right unless you wanna expedite the process. You know, when you have a pair of stretchers, you can do both shoes at the same time uh, versus like this box only comes with one. And so you've gotta do one side and then do the other. Let's see here. You know, it's just not quite getting in there. So I say, let's break out the big guns. Are you ready? I think we're gonna do it over there. So let's see, I think you guys can see me okay. Let's do this. Oh, she's got this high top on it. You know what, we're gonna do something else here. Let's do, let's do this one, let's see if this works any better. Okay, we're gonna give this a shot. Um, you know, we've cut off this, this to go into a flat-toed boot. Okay, there we go. That's better, I can tell. It really needs to set in there. You can see inside there. 
and I can feel like it, it's down there now. So I'm gonna push it a little bit more. There we go. And we'll come back here. Okay. Oh yeah, much better, much better. I can feel it, it's tightening up, that's great. Oh, this is so much fun. Thanks, you guys. I get a lot of shoe stretching in my business. I mean, there are, people have big feet, and the shoe industry is behind the times. So if you feel like, oh, my feet are bigger than other people's, you know what? That's probably not true. I see, just in general, everybody's got bigger feet. So here we go. Awesome. Okay, I love it. That is definitely going to work. Let's see if you guys can see. Right, it's kind of nice right there. I like it. Okay, so moving on. Now, I have a client came back. I do uh, restretching. So if somebody gets a stretch, I give free restretching. And this is a very typical shoe that you're seeing in the industry right now. It's got this, you know, there's no leather on it whatsoever. This is actually part neoprene. This is a Nike Zoom really great light shoe. I mean, I bet this is a great runner. It's a running shoe. Yeah, it says zoom, run fast, just do it. You know what? I'm going to put this on my Amazon shopping cart because I'll bet you a hundred bucks that it's on there and I'm going to add it because I think it's nice. I might look for something in New Balance because New Balance offers wider sizes and I'm trying to find one for you guys that I could bring in and demonstrate for you. Anyway, so, uh, of course, it's too tight for her. That's pretty typical with this shoe. And we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this all the way. This is kind of big. I mean, this is a men's, but I think it's gonna give me the shape that I need. It's right down there. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead, that's how it fits, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. And this is a situation where you're gonna need to apply some heat. And I'm gonna say very carefully, <laughs> this webbing, uh, even though I'm gonna do this, this will not stay. So I actually have to apply heat to it for it to work. And like I said, very carefully, it's so delicate that I'm gonna do it from far away. We're gonna do it together. Here we go. <clears throat> And I'd say if you go with the blow dryer, it, you're, it's safer because the blow dryer doesn't get as hot. But I'm gonna just do this careful enough that it doesn't split a hole. Okay, it's nice, nice and warm, not hot. Okay, that will do. And I'm going to go ahead and let it um, cool like this. And this is our best chance of making this shoe fit. Okay. Let me have another drink of coffee. <laughs> Happy Friday. Woo. Oh man. I'm so glad it's Friday. My fiance uh, just got a new uh, bee farm. He's got a bee farm and he just got a new farm that we're gonna be seeing tomorrow. I am gonna, when I get fancy with my editing and stuff, I'm gonna give you guys pictures of the beautiful Maui Isthmus and where his farm is. It's called Maui Bee Farm. He does honey. All right, so there we go. I think we did all of the versions that I had to show you. Oh, uh, one last one. We've got just a couple more minutes together. And this is for bunions. And I put this on our shopping cart in the carousel below and it's the ball and ring shoe stretcher they describe it as a spot stretcher for pain relief of bunions corns hammer toes and claw toes okay um under 50 dollars right now you know prices do change but uh what a deal it's so solid this one is so old oh my gosh that should show you you know you spend 50 bucks now and you'll have it forever um but this, we'll do this on this other shoe. We'll show you, this is a good one. So um, this 
it's going to act as your bunion or your corn. Okay. And you go into where you're experiencing the problem. And then this tightens. And in the actual, uh, the new one, mine doesn't have this uh, screw feature because mine's so old, but the new one has it, which is really nice. And it screws and it holds it into place for you. I, if you have one old, an old one like mine, I actually tie it off at the bottom and just, you know, get it to stay in place. Again, because this is a, a needed to be treated with heat, I would use the dryer on it, the hair dryer or your, your heat gun. Let it cool like that. And then, you know, it's, it's funny because when you do this on a leather shoe, it, it has this like bubble look. It looks funny. And so people are like, is that going to stay that way? It doesn't. It, it kind of stretches out a little bit and smooths out. <clears throat> but it won't shrink back. Once you stretch leather, it doesn't shrink unless you wet it and dry it in the sun and then you got a whole heap of problems there. So any of the treatments that you do with the water, don't dry them in the sun or under high heat. You want to just let them dry naturally. Okay, let's see what else is in the carousel. Make sure I've covered it all for you guys. Um, the shoe stretch, I've added that for you guys. And I think that's pretty good. Okay, so uh, let's mention one more time about the wide size shoes because this is a treatment for shoes that don't fit you right. Get shoes that fit you right. Try them on in the afternoon, that's the best time. Um, there are brands out there that make wide sizes. Uh, New Balance, awesome. It's my very, very favorite for wide shoes. Uh, for the men, uh, Danner, I've sold them for years, and the Danners and the Wides are awesome. I, I don't even bring in the mediums to my store. I just bring Danner in the Wide. Double E is what they use as their Wide. So, um, they and they do walker, you know, hiking. They don't do running, uh, but New Balance will get you covered on the running. New Balance goes all the way up to a 6E. I, I'm going to start carrying them personally because I do a lot of orthopedic work. People who have diabetes, you know, their feet swell, their legs swell, or let's say they've got a cast. I just had a gal in, um, sorry, we've got a bad connection here. See if that fixes itself in a second. I'll wait till you guys catch up. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, so here we go. So I just had a gal that came in, uh, she is elderly. I think she's probably diabetic, uh, you know, the overweight. So she can't move easily. She was wheelchair bound and her ankles were collapsing or the one ankle especially. So they put her in a half boot. It's an orthopedic, totally stiff, but her toes are exposed. So we usually with clients like that, we're trying to find a shoe that fits over the boot. And you know, that's so tough to do, especially when she has not even started her physical therapy yet. She's gonna try walking in a walker. So we actually, I built a lift right onto the bottom of her orthopedic boot. And that gave her stability to stand. She was actually standing in the store going, hey Terry, look, I'm standing. <laughs> awesome. So there are things out there to help you. Um, I don't have it to show you, but right behind the camera here are two racks of shoes that I'm fixing for people that need lifts because they have one hip or a knee or one leg shorter than another. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> I see that so much that if you are experiencing back pain, if you've had knee surgery, go see your doctor and ask, you know, that's something they don't point out a lot. So maybe if you ask for it, see, they do these cool digital readings now that measure your hips and you'll be able to tell if you've got discrepancies. Even, you know, a quarter of an inch makes a difference on how your overall pain is throughout the day. So uh, there are things that can make you feel better. Um, I also recommend the Power Step Orthotic. It's the pinnacle that I sell, but it helps with bunions. You know, get a shoe that lets your toes spread. For instance, here. You know, I, I know it's a sandal, but if, if you did a sandal, you know, a shoe that really gives you some 
the real shape of your toes. And then build in some arch support. Get something with some arch support. Ufos are a really big brand right now um, that have arch support. They're like a croc, they're soft, but they've got arch support. Um, the Power Step company makes a sandal called the Fusion Sandal. I also carry that, but I like it because it's, uh, it's non-slip, both the sole and the insole but it has a built-in arch support. So I love arch support, I'm a big fan. You know, um, you also, some good yoga, some good stretching really, really helps the back of your thighs, you know, and that, that in your calves, it helps loosen up, you know, that whole area around your foot and your ankle, maybe a little self massages on your feet so while you're watching a show or something, give yourself good care. Your feet are so important. Um, and you can always shoot me an email at terryedmonds.com if you have a specific question. I do get back to people. So uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, again, Friday, it's before the weekend. You guys, thanks for joining. I give you a high five. Woohoo! Or in Maui, we say aloha until I see you again. Thanks for supporting me. Aloha.